Hi guys, hi, how are y'all? So teacher hope that you guys are doing great, amazing. You guys are doing amazing. Um, although it's still PDPR, and uh, teacher hope that my YouTube videos are helping you, especially Form Four, Form Five students. I know that I've been uploading a lot of Form Five right now, but uh, bear with me. I will upload Form Four also very soon the next next chapter because so far teacher already have a chapter five progression. Uh, so I will continue with chapter 6, linear law and so forth. Okay, and uh, we will continue this video with the third part of permutation. So this was part 2. Okay, if you're seeing the screen, this was part 2. So we will continue with part 3 today. Permutations for a circle. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, now let's say that uh, we're going to go through two things, uh, circle and identical objects. Now, let's say that if you are doing arrangement, okay, because permutations are all about arrangement. Now, if let's say you are doing arrangement for identical objects. Now, what does it mean by identical? That means you have the same thing to arrange again. Okay, so when this happens, how do you arrange it? Now, let's look at example of question, huh? okay, because it's very easy actually. You have a formula to, to remember. Okay, let's go through the formula first. So here we have, let's say, uh, the number of uh, arrangements, how many things you have to arrange. And let's say you have uh, two identical things. So that means you will put over two factorial. Let's say you have, um, you have to arrange, okay, and then uh, total down maybe you have uh, three, thing, three apples to arrange, okay, three uh, factorial, and then you have two oranges to arrange. Oranges are the same, apples are the same category. So, you put 3 factorial, 2 factorial. Okay, let me show you using problem solving uh, questions. Okay, let, let teacher write the question here and then we will see how to apply this formula. Okay, let's look at this example here. Okay, the letters from the word masala, this is in Malay problem, huh? okay, is arranged in a line. Find the number of possible arrangements. Okay, look carefully at the word masala here. Okay, how many uh, letters are repeating? Which which letters are repeating? Okay, A is repeating how many times? Here go one, two, three. Yeah? So it's repeated three times. Okay, so I write first repeat three times. Okay, uh, do we have any others? So we have M1, S1, L1, H is one. Okay. So, total got how many numbers? Total how many letters? Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, huh? So, that means total got 7 numbers. The formula is very easy. 7 factorial over 3 factorial. Okay, 7 factorial. Because the A you can arrange, for example, it's A, L, A, let me erase this with that. Okay. Let's say I arrange M here. Okay. Okay. The A has 3A, right? So, let's say A1, A2, A3. Okay. Can I arrange A1 here? Yes. S. Okay. Can I arrange A2 here? And I can arrange A3 here. There are so many ways that I can arrange this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Maybe I can do this way also. Okay. Maybe I want to arrange A3 here. Maybe I want to arrange A1 here. And I want to arrange A2 here. Can you see? But is the A different? No, it's identical. So because it's identical, you have to put 3 factorial below. Because it's like repeating. The, the thing is repeating. So there's no difference where you arrange the, the, the 3 A's. So your formula will be 7 factorial over 3 factorial, which uh, we get, you can use your calculator, 7 factorial over 3 factorial. Mm, hold on, let me use my another calculator. Okay. 840 ways that I can arrange. Okay. So, I see here. 840 ways. 
so take note if the the objects are identical up so that means you have the same thing that you need to arrange again okay so this is one example for identical now let's look at example for uh, circles arranging in a circle that one will be interesting so now let's say you have permutations arranging in a circle okay now if you want to ask you guys a question okay when you arrange in a line you know that you are starting from the left side or you're starting from the right side okay but if you're arranging in a circle which side are you starting from let's say okay now i got five people that i want to arrange okay so one two three four five five people huh? okay let's give them a name uh sam ruby um Shaleen, um, Victor, one, two, three, four, one more, maybe Maria. Okay, just choose five people. Huh? Okay, now let's say Sam wants to sit down first. Now, can he choose any place to sit? How many ways can he choose? Are you going to say got five ways? Because got one two three four five okay now let's see yeah if let's say uh sam decides to sit here okay here sam is sitting here now look uh both beside sam uh, look beside sam on his right side okay and on his left side they are empty chairs correct and how is his view for the front got two empty chairs correct okay now let's say sam decides to sit here look at sam's right and left uh. look at sam's right and left sam still got two empty chairs and in front of him still got two empty chairs in the view we have to look at the view when you want to do the uh, circle arrangement okay Anywhere he sit, that's how his view is going to be, right? He sit here also the same. He sit here also the same. So meaning that wherever he sit, it's the same type of arrangement, same view. So that means we don't say he got five uh, ways to sit. No, he got only one way to sit. Sam got only one way because no matter where he sit, okay his view at the side and at the front is always the same the arrangement is always the same so it's only consider one okay so teacher hope you guys are following up huh? okay now let's say sam already sit down here huh? sam already sit ready now we go to ruby okay ruby let's say huh? now ruby got how many ways she can choose to sit down okay now let's say ruby uh she's choose to sit beside sam here okay now what is uh, ruby's view on her right she has sam and on her left she got no one empty in front of her got two empty seats okay that is if she choose to sit beside sam what if she sit this side is the arrangement still the same no, because now on her right side is empty. But Sam is now on her left. Different already, yeah? And in front of her, still got two views. Two people to sit down views, okay? Now, let's say Ruby decides to sit here. What happens to Ruby's uh, view now? On her left and on her right, no. Empty chairs, right? No one. In front of her, there will be Sam and another empty chair. Can you see the views are now different? Why it's different? Because Sam already sat first, right? So now Sam is like the center point, okay? So you have to follow like from Sam, then we have to see how now the arrangement. So that means Ruby got how many ways she can sit? What are the balance uh, position that she can sit? There are four ways for Ruby, okay? Four ways for ruby now let's say ruby decided to sit down so ruby sits here maybe now shaleen shaleen got how many ways she can choose to sit remember uh, where she's choosing to sit 
look at how she will view the table. Okay, that's very important. If, wherever, if she choose different place, different view. Or if she choose different place, same view. If same view, like Sam means, then there's only one way. If different views, it's going to be different ways. So, let's say Shalene sits here. Sam is beside her. Nobody beside her. Okay. Let's say Shalene is sitting here. Both empty. So, that's different already, right? So, that's how you should see. Okay. So, now let's say Shalene sits So That means how many ways Shalene has. Shalene has three ways. Okay. So, I'll go for Shalene here. Shalene got three ways. So, how about the rest? Victor and Maria. Victor will have two ways. Okay. Let's say Victor sits here. Victor can got two ways. Okay. Victor, two ways. And Maria has only one way. Only. Okay. Because Maria, last option. So, Maria has one way. Now, let's combine uh, the number of ways they are all seated. Okay. So, you can do 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So, here we got 12, 24 ways to sit in the circle. So, this is why the formula for permutations in circle, okay, is n minus 1 factorial. Okay, let me write here. N minus 1 factorial. Why minus 1? Because the first person only got one way to sit. Can you see here? The f this is for the first person, right? The one way. So, it's actually 1 times n minus 1 factorial. This one we can also write like this. 1 times 4 factorial. Correct? Okay. So, but you need to understand why the formula became like that. Because the first person will always have one way only to choose to sit. Because... How, no matter how they sit, their views and the, their positions be, beside them, left and right, will always be the same. Okay. So, I hope that you understand this. Please understand this well. Circles, very easy. Okay. So you have to just expand your view. Okay. You just need to understand your view only. Okay. So, teacher, hope that uh, we can uh, complete this. Okay. I'll give you one question. Okay, write down in the comment below your answer. So, let's see who can get the right answer. Okay, so now we have our questions ready. Four people are to be seated on a round table. Find the number of ways to arrange them if there's no restriction. This one should be easy for you all. Teacher already taught the method just now. But for B, you just need to think a little bit on here. Okay, find the number of ways to arrange them if the couples are sit seated together. Oh, sorry, a couple, a couple. So, think about the couple as a unit. That will be my clue. And if you got the answer, I'll be very happy that you can comment the answer correctly down below. I'll reply, okay? And if it's wrong also, it's okay. You've given this a try, all right? So, thank you so much for watching Teacher's Channel uh, video for today. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Click like. Share this with a friend. If you find this beneficial, show some love. And until I see you next for part 4, bye. Keep practicing advance.